Carolina. Well, exactly 20 years ago, people from around the world flocked to Salt Lake City for the 2002 Winter Olympics. And tonight, many came together to remember that historic event. ABC4's Lena Takata joining us live from the Olympic Cauldron Park in Salt Lake City, where the cauldron was lit tonight. Lena? Emily, the governor of Utah and the mayor of Salt Lake City were joined by 2002 Olympic officials, torchbearers, and athletes to celebrate the past and the future. Coming back here 20 years after the Paralympics were here, we're going to relight the, the cauldron, and it um, just brings back all the feelings and excitement that we, uh, we felt 20 years ago. And it's, um, it's funny because it feels like it was yesterday. Many people like five-time Paralympian and silver medalist Monty Mayer reminisced about the Salt Lake City Winter Olympics. It was amazing. I'm so glad I had the opportunity in my, my athletic career to compete in a Paralympics on my home soil. And what it meant for the state. It put Utah on the world map in a big, positive way because the Olympics are hard to put on, but we did it in spectacular fashion. Some people in the crowd adorned original hats and jackets from the games and cheers yeah. as the Olympic cauldron was lit in commemoration. Taking time out to remember that special time where we all came together, where we worked so well together, where we all unified is an opportunity for us to feel that unity again. But tonight wasn't just about honoring the past. It was also a celebration of the future. As Olympic representatives and Governor Cox shared their hopes of hosting the Olympics in Salt Lake once again, possibly as soon as 2030. Because we have the facilities here, uh, we have so much support here, which isn't true everywhere, um, we have a really good opportunity to bring those games back. With Governor Cox confirming a plan is already being shared with the International Olympic Committee. One of the best parts about what we have now is this incredible vision that people had in 2002 uh, to continue to invest in these facilities. So we, we could actually host the Olympics in six months if we had to. That, that's, that's not true anywhere else in the world right now. The Utah House of Representatives voted in favor of a joint resolution recognizing Utah's Olympic legacy earlier today. Live in Salt Lake City, Lena Takata, ABC4 News. Thank you, Lena. New 10, Utah.